All right, guys, weatherman who loses it on live TV. Let's check it out. TV weathermen and women are trained to handle all kinds of inclement situations. So this is a nice one with commentary and stuff, guys. Seems to, there seems to be some like chapters as well on this video, so that's good. But what about a spider on a weather cam or a wisecracking co-anchor? Get your oh, snap. Okay, this guy's got some good production quality. You know, maybe this is uploaded three years ago, but you know. It's got some good, uh, you know, potential to get views, and it did get views, guys. Like four million, five million views on this. Get your umbrella ready because oh, snap, he's breaking, breaking down in laughter. That's a good kind of breakdown, though, I guess you know. But you know, he also has a show. He's got to, you know, put on. You know, these are the meteorologists who lost. Guys, where is that? That's Alaska. That has to be Alaska, right? I don't know where that is. Uh, it's a UK, right? I don't know. Sorry, guys. I, I don't know where this is. It on live I only know about the USA, guys. TV. In May 2019, a tornado shredded the streets of Dayton, Ohio. Luckily, locals can't say the alarms weren't sounded, according to Newsweek, thanks to Fox 45's weatherman Jamie Simpson. All this heavy rain is between you and the tornado. But not everyone was happy about it. Simpson's live report, made several hours before the tornadoes rushed through, cut in on an airing of The Bachelorette. Uh, I was just it's taking social media. We have viewers complaining already. Just go back to the show. No, we're not going back to the show, folks. Rather than ignore the social media fire, Simpson flipped out. I'm sick and tired of people complaining about this. Our job here is to keep people safe, and that is what we're going to do. Yeah, that, that's what it means, man. Got to keep everyone safe, right, brothers? He added, Some of you complain that this is all about my ego. Stop. Bro, bro's just doing his job. Stop. Okay, just stop right now. It's not. The tornado ended up claiming one life, destroying a lot. Dang, bro. Tornadoes are scary. That's why. That's why I'm good on the Midwest, bro. Like, I think I live in Oregon. Oregon or California? I don't know, guys. Large part of central Ohio and injuring 12, according to Today. Snap, yeah, bro. When Simpson's clip went viral, Dayton locals praised him for his dedication. Back in 2005, CNN weather reporter Chad Myers was explaining the situation surrounding Hurricane Katrina. But when anchor Carol Costello kept asking him to speak in words the average viewer could understand, Myers hulked out. Lower Chad, pressure, Chad, but Camille, Chad, but Chad, let me Trans talk, Carol. Translate that for us. Evidently, dang, bro, that was kind of a, a little bit of an outburst right there. Not gonna lie. Myers didn't like the situation. Mean. Well, if you would let me talk. By the end, Myers smiled. Oh, snap! He 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 just. He's three, straight up threw down that his little paperwork right there, guys. What the? Alden claimed that he was just having fun, but it. Oh man, you guys think he was having fun? No, he was ready for sure it. Sure didn't look like it. All right, Carol. thank you, Chad. All right, just having fun with it this morning. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, the weak point. I wonder what they said in the break room or whatever. Points out that this footage was filmed and broadcast at 4:30 a.m., and that's one heck of an hour to keep it together on camera. If your sleep schedule is on point, you know, it, won't, it won't even matter, right guys? You won't even pay attention to that. A lot of people find the mere sight of a spider too much to bear, including global news meteorologist Christy Gordon, who freaked out on live TV when a giant arachnid was projected right over her head. Yo, what the heck? They got a little bit of a spider problem. Oh my gosh! Yeah. That it might be the lens on the camera though, guys. It's creepy! <laughs> As you can imagine, her co-workers erupted in hysterical delight. <laughs> Come on. No, I hate Come on, it's just a spider, right guys? I, it. I can't stand it. Although she was clearly a good sport, it took her a moment to shake off the heebie-jeebies. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Seriously? I'm so sorry. Back when everybody was bonding over the miserable what happens? One of my old escape friends used to live there, bro. Or he still probably lives there, guys. It's a huge city. Old 2018 cold snap, Grand Rapids meteorologist Gary Frank was clearly tired of everyone complaining. According to snap, Grand Rapids meteorologist Gary Oops, sorry, guys. Frank was clearly tired of everyone complaining, according to the Detroit News. After reporting day in and day out on Antarctic-style conditions, Frank finally snapped. Well, because you guys are dragging me down. You guys keep... <laughs> Antarctic, bro. Another Midwest problem, it seems, right, guys? Uh, I like the 
I like the, and that's fine for me, bro. I, I like the cold. Well, every time I get done with the seven day, you got. Like, I, if I ever get rich, I'd be down to move there for a little. I'm not gonna lie. Guys are like, oh, gosh. He continued. Every time. Doesn't matter what time I come on. 4.30, 5.30, 6.30, and then you expect me to be chipper for five straight hours. <laughs> Guys, pretty much, you get, I don't know, man. It seems like a cool job, though. To be honest, that does sound like a horrible gig. Here's a 60. I don't know if that's good enough for you guys. <laughs> what the? Get excited. Maybe I'll disappoint you with the seven day here in a few minutes. Rain every day. You know how often we get that in California? Not often at all, brothers. It's CNN reported on WITI TV's Angelica Duria, who got stuck standing in a Milwaukee snowstorm for an entire morning, reporting on weather that clearly wasn't going to improve. But as the lunch hour finally approached, Daria's good spirits melted away and she finally lit up the screen. I have been here since, what, 3.30 this morning. I'm exhausted. Uh, they didn't really have her standing the whole time right there, guys, right? Maybe they... I don't think they did. Hopefully not. I I'm sure she was, like, back and forth from the news van and stuff. I've run out of things to say. It is <laughs> snowing and it sucks here. Not surprisingly, everyone back in the studio applauded. <laughs> And all right, give her a raise after that, bro. Australian weather reporter Steve Jacobs once met a curious pelican named Marnie while reporting from the zoo. Brushes the south. Of the <laughs> yeah, bro, he's pretty scared there, it seems. <laughs> what the heck? Oh my god. <laughs> you love it. To be fair to Marnie, the pelican's pecking attack seemed more playful than aggressive, but that didn't make it any less hilarious. <laughs> the pelican going for him, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Even Jacobs couldn't stop laughing. Oh, I gotta sit down. Woo, when animals attack, there's a beauty never expected. <laughs> my butt taken off my pelican. Oh, look at the seals, man. In 2017, Fox 2 weather reporter Derek Kevra got so infuriated by people who didn't... Guys, if you live in, like, the middle of the country, there's no, like, oceans around you, right, guys? ...properly clean the snow off their cars, that he filmed an entire sequence explaining how to do it. Like, this must be a really hard concept for people to understand. Kevra proceeded to sarcastic... That's, a, that's scary, man. If it rains, it's scary for, like, a driver's bro. ...stickly demonstrate how to use a snow brush and ice scraper. <laughs> Like that, uh, thankfully, uh, you know, we're saving up for a Tesla, though. You're going to begin with a generic left to right swipe. Then, a couple inches below that, you'll swipe back. He added, and it's the scientific swiping motion that you will use. And this looks like a thing you'd clean your barbecue with. Not only on the sides, but... We don't really have anything for snow in my household, guys. I live in California, so... The back and all the way around 360 degrees. The raging fury is so clear that it paints a magnificent portrait of what happens when you finally push a weatherman too far. Now, I know, I know, it seems like a lot, but I promise if you follow those simple steps, you too will be able to clear the snow off of your car. If you're Boston's... I mean, I don't think that was that. Dramatic or anything to you guys? Weather Channel meteorologist James Cantori, the most glorious weather phenomenon of all is when lightning strikes during a snowstorm. During a televised segment in 2015, Cantori got so psyched about this bizarre phenomenon that he screamed, Oh, yes! Bro, that'd be legit freezing, bro. It looks so there. Look at all that snow, man. That's so much. What? There's so much snow related stuff in, stuff in this, um, uh, in this video, guys, not gonna lie. Yes! Yes! We got it, baby! According to the Washington Post, Cantori is well known throughout the weather community for his passion for so-called thunder snow. Cantori told the Boston Globe it's... That's a small car right there. Quote, kind of like two seasons coming together. We got it! Yes! Listen to that! Listen to that! Oh, baby! For his sake and the sake of his fans, hopefully another rocking thunder snow happens again soon. <laughs> Back in 2010, according to the BBC, weatherman Thomas Sch I'm, uh, I, I will say I am a fan of his reactions. Schaffernacker got caught in a rather awkward snafu when cameras switched over a second too fast, revealing him brandishing a prominent middle finger. Direct and provide all the detail you could possibly want. I've just seen Thomas Schaffernacker <laughs> preparing uh, for it, so I'm not in top. Oh! 
Shevronacker tried to cover it up, but no one was convinced. <laughs> no, 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 one mistake. Because they could see uh, what's be projected. So they, everybody knew, man. <laughs> the spokesman for the BBC quickly issued an apology, but this wasn't the first time that Shevronacker's sense of humor got him into trouble. He previously had to apologize for calling a region, quote, Nowheresville during a 2007 segment. And in 2009, he accidentally mispronounced the phrase muddy sight as a swear word. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Uh, bro. Plus, even more grunge videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single. What's that? I thought this was like a lone YouTuber. It's like a freaking whole business. Everyone. <laughs> Everyone asks, how's the weather? Never. How's the weather, man? True, true. Weather man told off social media to keep reporting about... Told off social media to keep reporting about the tornado as re my respect. Our poor weather man here in Arkansas was tracking or no a tornado when he realized it had passed directly over his home. He started talking about his wife and kids and let this sit while another person took over. What's that? It was terrible. Well, hopefully he's okay. everything was okay. Yeah, got a grunge in the description. I'll see you guys next one. Peace out, everyone. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribes.